I started the ENG 3CI course wanting to give the students more voice and choice. So traditionally we had used one novel as a full class novel and this year we decided we were using going to give them choices. So I talked about the books, they provided me with a choice of the top three and they were able to in the most in most cases get their first choice of their novel. So they were quite thrilled about that and they were very keen on reading and in fact the one group the bell had gone and I was kind of why are you still talking and they said can we just have five more minutes to talk about our book mm -hmm. and I thought that was great so we continued and there were times when they were like I just want to finish these two pages and they had roles to complete for their novels and they would complete them online or on paper I didn't pressure them to do it online. I wanted them to do it online so that they could share it with their group members, but um, whatever they would complete, I would accept. So they did a very good job of completing their first novel, and when I gave them their second choice for their second novel, they kind of ran into some problems because it was more independent. So we brainstormed some ideas about why they were more successful with their first novel and they came up with some interesting insights and that they liked the collaboration aspect, that they liked being able to talk with their group and have clarification of problems they were facing in their reading and so those were the two main parts but I also noticed from my perspective that as they're working in their groups I walk around and I, I say so what part of the novel are you at? And, I'm like, oh, you just wait. So it builds suspense and then they're more eager to read. So we started the advertising unit because we wanted some scope and sequence going into the grade 12 course where they do documentaries. So I decided to do an advertising unit because it focuses on many of the same concepts such as bias and target audience, things like that. So. I designed many of the tasks to be inquiry-based, where they had to find their own information. For example, they did an assignment where they used, found a controversial ad, and then they used the ad standards for Canadian advertising to determine what about the ad was controversial, should it be used, should it be banned, um, can it be changed in any way to make it more acceptable. and. They were able to find the information very well and use it effectively. Then they were able to use many of the techniques that we talked about, such as target audience and color and font, things like that, to create their own public service announcement. And uh, they could use uh, different mediums to do that. And then they would present the information. So they were able to focus on a lot of the skills that we're hoping that they continue to develop in grade 12.